A mysterious man walks down a dark street holding a basket until he stops in front of a door as he passes by. After placing the basket on the ground, he rang the doorbell and quickly left the place. Soon, Mr. and Mrs. Ferris walked out. The couple didn't see the visitor, only the baby in the basket. Looking around, they realized that the baby had been dumped here. So the couple immediately decided to adopt the baby and named him Dover. As time came seven years later, Dover had grown up. But compared to the other children, Dover looked very thin and weak. He was always teased and bullied by his classmates. Luckily, his older brother, Tom, is very protective of him and guards Dover as closely as possible. His parents also treated him like their own child and gave him the best love they could. Dover never knew that he wasn't born to his parents. Dover thought his life would go on like this for a long time, but then something unexpected happened. On the night of the full moon, Dover lay in bed unable to sleep. He got up and went to the window, and when he saw the moon, he let out an uncontrollable wolf howl. The moment scared him, and in that moment, he felt an itch on his body. When he looked down, hair started to grow on his hands, and the nails gradually turned into sharp claws. When he came to the mirror, he had grown weird ears. In an instant, he transformed into a little werewolf. But just then, his brother Tom, who had heard the noise, arrived. But little did he know that Dover was on the verge of restraining his thirst for blood. The boy came to his brother's room late at night. But in an instant, he was stunned. His brother Dover had turned into a werewolf. Tom didn't feel scared. He just thought his brother Dover looked extra cute. But Dover couldn't control himself anymore. He involuntarily rolled out of the window and ran back and forth in the street, as if his animalistic nature had been released. He then climbed up a tree and kept letting out a wolf howl. When he finished venting and was ready to go home, he accidentally saw his next door neighbor's chicken coop. Unable to control himself, he entered the coop and devoured a chicken. But just then, the neighbor's old lady found him. Dover was even more scared than the old lady, and he was so frightened that he ran away. When he got home, his brother was asleep. Feeling tired, Dover lay down on his bed and, and fell asleep. But strangely, the next morning he was back to normal brother Tom was also beyond shot. But he didn't tell anyone. Dover's mind was full of worries and he was afraid that his parents would dislike him. They knew about it. Even when his teacher took the class to the zoo, he realized that he could actually communicate with wolves. Soon afterward, there was another full moon. Dover once again turned into a little werewolf. He was afraid to go home and could only sit sadly in the park and cry. He didn't know what to do with himself and was afraid of being treated like a monster. Just as he was falling apart, an elderly stranger appeared. The stranger encourages Dover to be brave and face who he is. Because everyone is unique. With that said, the stranger left. With the stranger's comfort, Dover was much happier. He returned home and decided to go out to play with his brother Tom. Because he was afraid of being seen by his parents. Tom even lied that Dover wanted to practice roller skating. But not long after they went out, Dover was once again attracted by the neighbor's chickens. And this time, the old neighbor lady was prepared. The young werewolf was about to steal the chicken, but then the searchlight came on. The older brother tries to stop Dover, but they still get a picture taken of them. The next day, the police took that picture and started an investigation. Although they didn't catch Dover, Dover was still scared. He began to wonder about his origins. Seeing how desperate he was, his mother told Dover about his adopted son's identity. Though his adoptive mother told Dover that they would always love him no matter what kind of child he was. But Dover still worries that his werewolf status will terrify his adoptive parents as he broods in the park. The mystic appears once more. This time the mystic is not in disguise, but reveals his werewolf identity to Dover. He doesn't say much, just tells Dover to make good use of his powers. On the night of Christmas Eve, the school held a party, but once again, Dover shifted uncontrollably. He had no choice but to flee back home. He didn't want to be like this anymore, so he packed his things and got ready to leave the place. But as soon as he stepped out of the house, he encountered the mysterious man once again. The other man stopped his way and told Dover the truth about Dover. In fact, he was Dover's grandfather. But because Dover's parents were not weird wolves and Grandpa couldn't change back to human, Grandpa had to leave Dover in front of Mr. and Mrs. Ferris' house. But just then, Dover once again smells the neighbor's chicks. He runs over there uncontrollably, but this time, the police were well prepared. Dover had just approached the chicken coop when a cage fell from the sky. Since the cage was made of silver, there was nothing Grandpa could do. In the moment of crisis, it was his brother Tom who rushed back to save Dover. The parents also came back at this time, and they knew the truth. But they didn't care, they just cared if their son was hurt. In the end, the family and Grandpa got together and happily enjoyed Christmas dinner.